Hello boys and girls. Today I'm going to read aloud a story called Camping in the Rain by Sidney Reese. In this story, a character named Seth has a problem. He tries to solve it in different ways. Listen for how Seth solves his problem. Camping in the Rain by Sidney Reese. Based on the title of this story, what problem do you think Seth might have? What are some possible solutions? Please write this down on your handout. Yippee! It's camping day, Seth cheered. Then he leapt out of his bed and excitedly scrambled downstairs, where he found his father in the kitchen flipping a skillet of pancakes. Good morning, buddy, his father announced. And as he did every morning, his father knelt down for a long hug. And Seth put his arms around his father's neck and squeezed tight. Seth, Dad said, unfortunately, I have some bad news. It started raining early this morning. And as you can see, if you look outside, it's still raining. As soon as Seth heard this, he darted to the front door and looked out. Rain dripped from his swing set and it ran down a slide, making enormous, gigantic puddles at the bottom. We can still go camping, can't we? Seth pleaded, hoping for the best. But inside, he guessed the answer would be no. And he leaned his head against the cold glass door. I wish we could, Seth, Daddy answered, but it's supposed to rain all day. And it wouldn't be much fun getting all wet and cold. Because of the rain, all the sticks and firewood will also be drenched. So we couldn't even build a campfire. Seth climbed into a big rocking chair, crossed his legs, and rocked slowly. The chair was Seth's thinking place. And he also sat in it whenever he had a lot to think about. Seth, frustrated, thought to himself, why did it have to rain today? Seth rocked back and forth in a soothing rhythm, wondering how he make it stop raining until he got an idea. Daddy, he shouted, guess what? I'm going to make the rain stop so we can go camping. You are, Daddy said, sounding a bit surprised. Yes, Seth explained. At school, my teacher, Miss Percy, taught the class about rain dances, so I'm going to do an un-rain dance. Seth started dancing around the room, and as he danced, he sang, Rain, rain, go away, come again another day. He danced around the room three times. Then he ran to the front door and looked out. But it was raining even harder. Next, Seth counted all the way to 20, but despite all of his efforts, the rain kept falling. It's never going to stop raining, Seth complained, and he slumped onto the couch next to Daddy and grumbled. I don't like rain. Seth, you've always loved rain, Daddy said, putting his arm around him. Why don't you go out on the deck and listen to it? Seth shrugged and walked out onto the covered deck. Rain drummed on the roof, and Seth took a deep breath. The rain made everything smell good, like being in the mountains. He listened to the cars on the highway down the hill, and the sound reminded him of a river rushing. For a moment, he could almost believe he was camping. Suddenly, Seth got another idea and ran inside. Daddy, he called. I know how we can go camping even when it's raining. Really? How? asked Daddy. We can camp right here on the deck, Seth said, pulling his father outside. Listen, the cars on the highway sound like a river. And smell the air, Daddy. It's just like we go camping. Seth, Daddy said and smiled. That's a terrific idea. Can we roast marshmallows on the grill? Sure, and hot dogs too. Can we set up the tent, eat popcorn, play games, and tell stories all snug in our sleeping bags just like when we're camping? You betcha. Yippee! Seth shrieked, then danced around in circles, 
we're going camping and we're going camping in the rain.